Did a New Testament author misapply Psalm 102 to Jesus? An Hypothesis by Dr. Galen Curra. Introduction In his Epistle to the Hebrews, Chapter 1, the unknown author cites several texts from the Tanakh, Old Testament, contrasting the messianic son with angels. For example, to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? However, at verse 10, the author cites Psalm 102. You, Lord, laid the foundation of the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment, like a robe, you will roll them up. Like a garment, they will be changed, but you are the same, and your years will have no end. Problems This quotation presents two problems. First, Psalm 102 seems originally to address Yahweh, and secondly, the word Lord at Hebrews 1.10 does not appear in the Hebrew text. So, what was the author of Hebrews thinking? All Bible commentators observe that a passage addressed to Yahweh, Lord, is applied to the Son. Or, Christ is preached even in passages where many might contend that the Father was principally intended. Yet no one seems able to explain how the author could mistake Yahweh for Jesus. This situation demands that we take another look at Psalm 102, asking, Why believe Psalm 102, verses 24 through 27, should be addressed to the Son? Tentative Hypothesis the author of the book of Hebrews recognizes Psalm 102 to be messianic in nature. When Messiah's life is in danger, he prays to Yahweh, expecting a soon reply. Yahweh answers him, calling him Yahweh, declaring that he will one day save Israel and that he exists forever. Tentative Interpretation Whatever be the historical situation of the author of Psalm 102, he formulates a prayer for Yahweh to which he expects a quick reply. Hear my prayer, O Lord, answer me speedily. Messiah then complains twice about my days coming to a soon end, describing dangers that fit the future suffering of Jesus. All the day my enemies taunt me. At verse 12, Yahweh replies to Messiah, calling him Yahweh, reminding him that it is he who will one day appear in glory, ruling over Zion, Jerusalem, other nations, their kings, and their populations forever. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Just as Jesus complained to his father the night of his arrest, and again when crucified, so in Psalm 102, Messiah repeats his complaint twice about my days being shortened. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. In the middle of verse 24, Yahweh again replies to Messiah. Recognizing that this is a second reply, 
The translators of the Greek Septuagint version of this psalm repeated, from verse 12, the name Yahweh for Messiah. Yahweh reminds him that he, Messiah, was alive at the creation, will remain alive in the future, and will live forever. You whose years endure, you laid the foundation of the earth, you will remain your years have no end. In the New Testament, the Epistle to the Hebrews conserves this repetition of the name Yahweh, rightly applying it to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Tentative Conclusion Yahweh originally revealed Psalm 102 as a prayer of the future Messiah and as a reply from Yahweh, in which Yahweh calls Messiah Yahweh, affirming that he lives forever. Thus, the epistle to the Hebrews correctly applies Psalm 102 to Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God. The Septuagint version's insertion of Lord into verse 24 may be accepted as scripture by virtue of its citation in the New Testament.